Good morning, guys. Today is gonna be such a busy day. I've been making these videos over the course of my journey becoming a full-time content creator. I think the last time I made one was when I, I think it was like my first week doing this full time. And a lot of things have definitely changed since then. So I love making these videos. So I love sharing with you guys everything that I've been learning because there's just a lot of things that I just would never expect that you have to think about when you're doing this as a job. So that being said, today is gonna be a super busy day. Um, we have a lot on our agenda today. I need to film a TikTok for a brand today. I also need to do some editing. Um, and then I also have an appointment today at Rejuvenate Austin. I'm gonna be getting some work done there and I'm gonna take you guys with me when I go do that. Um, and then I also need to send some stuff over to my accountant today. So that's gonna be the first thing on my list since I can just go ahead and knock that out. So as you guys know, if you guys have been watching my budgeting videos, um, a lot has changed for me in terms of finances. Now that I've been doing this full time, um, I went from working a nine to five job where you know I was given a paycheck and taxes were taken care of and they you know they take the taxes out for you um whereas now working in this field i get paid by brands but taxes are not ever taken out for you so i have to actually do my taxes and figure out and the payments and stuff for taxes all by myself so i decided to go ahead and get an accountant because again if you guys are watching my budgeting videos i kind of go more into detail on this but i decided to get an accountant because a lot of this is really complicated and there's a lot of things that i just i'm too nervous to do by myself so i figured let me go ahead and get some help so i went ahead and got an accountant um her name is asia stanton she's actually a friend of mine she went to business school with me and i'm really happy that i went ahead and started working with her because it's someone that i know and trust um, she owns her own business. It's black owned, which I love um, And she actually specializes in working with influencers, which I just think is really really cool So um, the first call that we hopped on we did um, a strategy It's kind of just like a one-on-one -on -one call where I can basically like ask her as many questions as I as I want um, and we talked everything we talked about everything in terms of money um like tax write-offs specifically because i had a lot of questions about tax write-offs so i asked her basically about everything that i could write off as an influencer um and she gave me a bunch of really good information so i'm probably going to be sharing with that i'm probably going to be sharing that with you guys either in my next budgeting video or in a, like a separate video like later on this month so be sure to look out for that but that being said i went ahead after our one-on-one -on -one, like our first kind of kickoff call i went ahead and booked with her so i'm actually going to leave her information down below so she's awesome i need to go through and send some stuff to her but i also need to go through and um record all of my recent payments from different brands because i have a way that i like to track all of my payments whenever i get paid from brands it's all in like one excel file so i'm gonna go ahead and do that because i haven't done that in a few weeks if you guys want to see an example um like template of how i do that i will leave a link to it down below um because i think it's just really important to track everything especially if you're kind of starting to transition into doing Doing this full time um, it's really important to make sure that you're tracking every brand that you work with whether or not they paid you when they owe you your money just so you have a good record of everything so yeah let me go ahead and get all this stuff done and then I will check in with you guys in a few minutes Okay, so I finished sending everything over to my accountant. I went ahead also and updated my sponsorship sheet thing. Again, if you guys want to see like how I do that, all that stuff, you guys check the description box. Um, I now need to go ahead and film a TikTok. I have about an hour um, before I need to leave the house, so I think I have enough time. Um, let me take you guys over here where you guys know I like to film. I like to film my TikToks um, over here in my bedroom, in front of my bedroom window because there's the most light right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and prop my phone down right here and film this TikTok for this brand. Um, before I do, let me show you guys what I'm wearing today because I think this is so cute. So Adidas was nice enough to send me a bunch of their um, clothes and I've been obsessed with this set in particular because it's like super comfortable. You guys can see it's just like a jacket and um, sweatpants set um, and this has like these like really cute sequins on it. I just love this color and how like cute it looks like look and it has like these sequins on my leg so i've honestly been wearing this around the house for like two days now and then i have this shirt that i got as well and then i also have let me show you guys and then i also got these shorts that i wore um this weekend that's why they're all wrinkled up because i already wore them um but they're like these really cute shorts that match this set i'm just gonna show you all the entire haul um so i also got this in a nude color 
I just got the top and the shorts for this color. So I thought that was really cute. And then I also got two pairs of shorts from them because I just need some more like workout clothes. I don't buy a lot of workout clothes for myself. So I figured why not get some. Um, so I got these volleyball shorts that are like basically like, you know, like the tight shorts that you can work out in. Um, I got these in this like really pretty green color and then I also just got them in black and both of these I've literally already worn So I had to go get them out the laundry to show y'all because I just really like Adidas' stuff Because I really like the quality of all their stuff and I like the way that they fit um, Me so I'm gonna leave a link to everything down below in case you guys want to go check out um, Everything that I got so yeah, thank you again to Adidas for sending me all this stuff because I am Obsessed with it. I cannot stop wearing it. So I do have an appointment at noon um, but I think I have enough time to film my TikTok first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. Okay, so I just got my product. I'm filming this TikTok for Athena Club, which is a razor brand. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull up my contract with them because I want to make sure that I'm hitting all my points. Like, usually brands will send you, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying this or not, but brands will usually send you, like, talking points whenever you do any kind of sponsorship. So whenever I'm about to film any kind of sponsored content, I will always like pull up my contract just to make sure that I have everything that I know I need to talk about um, in front of me. I've been trying to be more like careful about sponsorships and making sure that they integrate well with all of my other content, especially like on TikTok and Instagram where it's a little bit less of an opportunity for you to kind of just be yourself and like talk through things. Cause I feel like you only have so much space like on your page, right? And you want to make sure that you're fitting things in well and you're integrating it well with the rest of your content. So for me to just sit down and kind of do like an ad for a razor brand, that may not come off super organic or natural to my audience, right? It just kind of looks like an ad like on my page. So I want to try to, I want, I've been wanting to do a better job of like integrating sponsored content better into my content, especially again, like on TikTok and Instagram where it's like a little bit less um, natural to be talking about products and things like a razor brand, right? So I'm just trying to think of how I can best integrate this into a TikTok without it seeming too advertising. I think I'm going to change so then I'm, I can kind of sell the point of like, my legs are smooth, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, let me go do that. Okay, so I just went ahead and changed because I'm actually going to kind of do the concept of this TikTok like I do a lot of my other TikToks, which is like get dressed with me, get ready with me type of thing. But I'm going to kind of try, I'm going to try to pivot the focus more on the razor instead of like my outfit like I typically do. Just because I feel like that will kind of perform a little bit better than instead of it just being like a straight up like ad for the razor. We'll see. I'm just going to go ahead and start filming and see how this kind of goes. Hopefully it flows naturally because I really do like this razor brand. Um, it's more just kind of trying to figure out how to like integrate it into my content. You know? There's something about this yeah. girl that from around she my way. way Ever try to hold back your feelings yeah. but it just wouldn't say But when I finally found the words to say I wanted to run away run away, run away. Run away. All right, guys, so I just ran out of time. I did not get to finish filming my TikTok, so I'm gonna have to finish it when I get back. I have an appointment about 20 minutes at Rejuvenate Austin, so we're gonna head there and I'm gonna go get some work done. Now raise your eyebrows really high. Yeah, you don't need any in your forehead. Okay. And then smile really big. You don't have any first feet. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I wouldn't cool. do any of that. So you're just gonna do like this. I wanna do for you, so here the, the recommended treatment dose here is 20 units. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna get you smooth mm -hmm. so that these lines don't form and then hang out and you don't have these 11 lines that are at rest. Got it. Because so many women come to me like in their 50s, 60s, and they're like, I wish I would've started those like sooner. It just wasn't around. Yeah, they prevented it. Yeah. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. Hey guys, 
guys, I just got back from my appointment. Um, I honestly was super surprised by how quick that was. Like it, I was out of there in like less than 30 minutes, I think, or maybe like 30 minutes or so. Um, but it was super chill, super easy. I've talked about this place in my last vlog, but I really like this place. They're all really friendly there and they all made me really comfortable. And um, I'm gonna try to show you guys the results a little bit. I don't think you can really, honestly with Botox, you it's not ever, or at least like when I've seen people get it done, it's never super noticeable. And sorry, my room's kind of a mess. Um, it's never super noticeable. So you guys can see like right now, you guys can probably barely tell, but the results really do kick in, in like two to three days. So if you guys don't already follow me on my Instagram, I highly suggest you guys go follow me there. Cause that's where you guys will kind of see the results and stuff if you guys want to see that. So um, yeah, that is done. I'm really happy with how that went. We got like the lines here and we just did like a mini little eyebrow lift. I really can't tell the difference right now, but I don't think I'm supposed to. So yeah, that's done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish filming my TikTok and kind of just like edit it a little bit and send it over to the brand. And then I also need to do some editing today. That's really gonna be like what I have to get done for the rest of my day. Um, so I will be doing that and I will check in with you guys, I guess then. <sighs> guys, it's 7.30. I literally just finished editing for the day and I'm not even completely done with my video. I still have to add like B-roll, music, I have to make my thumbnail and all this stuff for my video and it's due tomorrow. So I just basically went through like two rounds of editing. So typically the way that I like to do it is I like to do one round where I just kind of get through like as much as I can, like kind of get like the bare bones of the video done. Um, and then I will do a second round where I kind of will clean it up and kind of like fine what's it called, fine comb it, you know what I mean, like fine tooth comb the video and kind of take out, like the first round is like really about like kind of figuring out structure while the second round of edits is really like kind of like cleaning it up and making sure that I like take out like the extra footage that I don't want and stuff like that. And then I'll usually go through a third round and I'll do B-roll, music, I'll add in any text that I need to add to the video um, and that's when I typically will make the thumbnail. Um, so I'm just like a little bit frustrated with myself because I feel like I, it's already 7.30 and I'm still not completely done with the video. I started working on this video probably around like 2.33. I did finish my TikTok, which was nice. And then I will say I probably had like an hour worth of breaks in total um, in between while editing this video, like checking TikTok and stuff. So I don't know. I just feel like I get really hard on myself because I do feel like when I was working at 9 to 5, I do think I was a little bit more productive in a weird way. Like it almost feels like I was able to get things done quicker. And I don't know if it's because like I just was more organized in my schedule and maybe now I just have so much more time on my hands that I tend to take longer or maybe I'm just slower with working. I don't know, but at times I just get kind of part of myself because I realize that like, it's it's kind of frustrating when it's like, you want to get as many things done off your to-do list as you can, obviously, because like the more content I can make, the better. But again, I'm just realizing that it's like better to, first of all, like enjoy what I'm doing. It's like, I love doing this. So it's really important for me to like enjoy making the content, but it's also really important for me for me to take my time and make sure that my content is like quality um, versus just trying to get it done, if that makes sense. So. I don't know. It's all good. Overall, I'm super grateful that this is like my job and that I get to do this and like the fact that I'm even stressing about how productive I was and all that stuff. Like it's really not that big of a deal. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed um, this day in life. If you guys have any questions at all or anything else that you guys want me to cover in my videos, definitely let me know and I will try to cover it in my next video or I'll try to answer your comments. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.